Wet your paper working around the sand dollar. Where the sand dollar is going to be, don't get that wet. So if your wa uh, watercolor wants to run, it's not going to run in to the white area of your paper. Work the water around the sand dollar and just keep turning your paper like this. And I am just laying out my water, then I'm gonna start adding in some more blues to make some dark blues and light blues and just kind of add some uh, fun texture around the sand dollar. With a very fine brush, put in the very dark lines of the center of the sand dollar and then the little tiny arms that go out around it. And then wet in between where the white areas are going to be and just put in a little bit of paint for shadows and then uh, look at your dark shadows around the sand dollar, which there's not much, and just add those in. Wet down just the shadow area in between the arms and then let that dry just a tiny, tiny bit and then take a fine brush and you're going to paint the dots that go in between the arms of the sand dollar and you're just going to touch those in. They're going to bleed out a little bit. You want them nice and soft and then as the paper dries, you'll be able to add in some additional dots and those will stand out as detail. We're coming to the end of this picture and what I do is I will just uh, stop and pause here. I'll take a look at what I want to add in. I wanted to add a little bit more dark colors into this, add a few more details. Tell me what you are painting this summer. I would love to hear what you are doing and what are some of your favorite things to paint overall. And I would love to have you subscribe and hit like, share a comment, uh, give me suggestions of what you're doing. I hope you enjoyed this video and our time together, and I would love to see you the next time.